Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute where we're throwing strikes and getting some likes. Today we're coming at you with a spring training update. Kind of some news and things that I've read from spring training so far. Uh, obviously the title of the episode, who is on third? Who's playing third for the Milwaukee Brewers this season? Uh, I find it very interesting uh, that we're talking about this because Moustakis hasn't played second base according to everything I've looked in. Uh, you know, shifts in the modern game of baseball. Of course, he's played in the relative position of second base, uh, but he's not your protocol, uh, prototypical second baseman by any means. Uh, 220 pounds, six foot tall. Uh, usually that's reserved for a little bit smaller guys, you know. Uh, so we'll see how that all works out. I think they're just trying it out. I think it's just a uh, let's let's try it out and see for spring training and see if. Maybe we could rotate the two between second and third, and then we've got some options with Spangerberg, Saladino, uh, potentially Dubon. A um, little disappointed because Dubon seems like he's ready to go, and unfortunately he's going to get held back because we did sign Moose, and we do have now a plethora of infielders. But anyways, on to the next, I guess. The Brewers signed two players kind of under the radar, didn't really announce them. Uh, Jay Jackson, uh, a pitcher, uh, he's going to get some time in spring, spring training. He has an opportunity to make a million dollars if he gets the big leagues. Kind of one of those guys went over to Japan as his career was tailing off, did a little bit of revitalizing in Japan. Maybe he could turn into a Eric Thames-esque player. We don't know. Uh, then we also got Brett Lowry. He's been out of baseball since 2016. Uh, we all know him well. Uh, he's a fiery, passionate player. He has the opportunity to make $7 million if he cracks the big league roster. So those are kind of some little signings, rumblings. I mean, obviously, Moustakis was the big one, uh, and we're thankful for that. I mean, I, I don't know who's not thankful for that. If you're not, raise your hand down below. Um, so we got a lot of excitement, a lot of things working out. Uh, we don't have a game until the 23rd. Fifth, sixth, the Padres, Padres is the first game. That's next week. Uh, we're starting to see some spring training, some baseball on TV. Although it's snowing outside, or there's snow outside, and it's going to be a sloppy weekend, there's still some baseball going on on television and on the radio. So that's really exciting. Um, just kind of the general feel is really good right now. You're getting pictures. You're getting all the fun social media that the players are doing and the club is doing. If you haven't checked that stuff out, go check it out, guys. It's fun. Uh, it really gets you excited for baseball. Uh, another Moustakis news thing. He is going to be wearing jersey number 11. Uh, if you remember last year, he was 18. Uh, he originally, number was 8. Obviously, we already have a number 8, so he couldn't have 8. So, he's wearing number 11. Apparently, it's his mom's favorite number. Go him. Mama's boy. I love it. I love it. Right there. Uh, so, you know, a lot of guys are working on things. Uh, I just read recently that uh, Junior Guerra and Yoli Chassin are working on the change. Uh, Jimmy has had a lot of success. There's a post by Sophia uh, on there talking about Jimmy's success in his trips to the mound. Those are all question marks, guys. Chase, obviously, is a question mark. These are all guys that we're going to see some things starting to happen with uh, in the next few weeks. Um, on a side note, mentioning Jimmy... You know, I think we all, our hearts, our hearts are with him, you know, with the, the stuff going on with his wife and his unborn twins. So, uh, say a prayer tonight for, for Jimmy. Uh, we're thinking of you, Jimmy. We hope all works out, uh, to be on two fronts as a dad and as a, uh, you know, a player or a soon to be dad and a player I'm sure is beyond difficult. So that's about all I got for you this week. Again, no game action. So there's nothing to really talk about there. Uh, just a lot of, you know, the kind of getting exciting, building excitement for the season. So, or for the spring training start. So, drop a like, subscribe. If you've got something I missed, or you, you have an answer to one of my questions, please hit me up down below. I still don't think that Moose played any second base, but if you know differently, tell me. Uh, thanks, as always, guys, for watching. Uh, check out the old videos. Uh, I just... I did a lot of talk about free agency, and just to be to be said, 
Uh, I still, I'm happy with where we're at now, guys, but I still think we need those starters. Uh, I, oh, 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 this is a good one. Apparently, Craig Council does not, he wants them to be called outgetters. I refuse to call them out, outgetters. Starting pitchers. Guys, starting pitchers. Say it with me. I don't care if I got to be putting Craig Council's time out, by the way. Starting pitchers. That's what they are. All right. So, anyways, drop a like, subscribe, hit me up, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching, and you guys have a great rest of your day.